thought it was time to give you a quick rundown of the uh, shop. Um, standing right at the front door, a new electrical panel was put in right before I started renting. And uh, from that, I've got a 70 amp sub panel run towards the middle of the building. I'm running my air compressor. This room is largely empty. It's got some old uh, double doors there. This is the entrance door. Step up a few inches. Uh, I've got the racks up now. Vices are kind of uh, stacked there. I've still got 20 or 30 sitting at home. Made a uh, makeshift light box for taking photos. I was going through some old tools, buying uh, some cool craftsman boxes. You end up getting a bunch of tools with that. A couple other uh, pieces here on the carts. These carts are really nice. I've got two of these here. I still have one at home. Great for moving stuff around. There is an old uh, oil furnace. I don't think I'm going to try to use that. I'll show you how I'm heating shortly. Got the uh, 8 inch Wilton sitting there on the floor. And that's going to go on a pedestal that's sitting over here. It's an I-beam. I found this pipe flange at an industrial scrap yard. So that's going to make a nice base for that. I'm just going to pan around here. So this area is probably about 20 by 30. Largely just going to be storage. See the ceiling, the roof's about three years old. Uh, makes heating kind of tough. There is the start of a ceiling put in there. This area is going to be a machine shop, sort of a machine shop. Got a uh, 20 ton hydraulic press. Got some uh, toolboxes, the South Bend. 9A lathe is there. There'll be a Rockwell vertical that's disassembled right now sitting here. Probably a, another drill press. And then uh, this is my Black & Decker uh, 1927 disc grinder. It's got the original Black & Decker logo on it. It's really cool. Um, I bought it just because of the yeah, the age of it, but the the rests here are kind of cool. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of flash rust. I'm going to have to either start wiping stuff down or keeping it covered. Just, uh, we've had a weird winter here in uh, Pennsylvania. So it's been cold, warm. Anytime the temperature changes, that's going to be an issue. I'm going to pan around here. I've got an uh, Eastwood uh, teardown table. I've got the transmission for my 65 Chevy on there now. It's draining. To the left here, it's going to be buffers. Uh, I've got an extra stand. Not sure which stand I'm going to use for this green Cincinnati. It's about 32 inches between wheels. That's a Baldor. It's a three quarter horse with a variable frequency drive. I've been using that to buff vice handles and other parts. Uh, dust collector and uh, Eastwood blast cabinet. So I run crushed glass. This um, really works well for cleaning up All kinds of parts. Right now I've got truck parts in there. Excuse the light. It's worked really well. Nothing actually rusts once you blast it and keep it closed. So that works out pretty well. Some real nice 
metal work tables. I'll probably end up lagging those into the concrete shortly. A couple neat vices here. This is the uh, chrome plated Wilton. This came out of uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida. I was told it came from NASA. Don't have any uh, actual documentation though, but it is a fully polished. This is kind of the before. I was starting to work on a little bit in here. It's got some heavier rust on it. I'm gonna have to probably use some kind of mild acid to treat that before I finish polishing. And a uh, Parker, I think this is a 474 double rotator. Um, just bought that. And my Yoast double swivel. Uh, partial to the Yoast, they've got the, the single lever that locks both directions of rotation. I think these two are pretty much keepers. They're not going anywhere. Um, there's a Bacchus sitting there. It's a smaller one. And uh, this is a three and a half inch reed I just got recently. Kind of got a weird paint job on it. They just painted the bottom green. But it's in really nice shape. Again, it's got a little bit of that flash rust. I'm gonna have to figure out how to handle that. Just some file cabinets, uh, Eastwood parts washer. I gotta get some diesel fuel for that. And I use a uh, gunk uh, detergent. There's two gallons of that sitting on the bottom. <clears throat> and uh, just getting kinda cleaned up and organized. We got a security system in the building. So I've got four cameras. This is just a little more mobile work cart. So what you've just seen is about 30 by 30. Um, behind this door, there's just a ramp. Because the lower section of the building is about four feet lower. So somebody before me built a really nice um, wood ramp it's pressure treated and there's a door in the back I'm just using this area for storage right now <coughs> lighting in here I've got four hanging pendant lights they've got some uh, fairly high lumen LEDs the back shop where the truck is, is going to get two high bay LEDs hung off the ceiling. And that area is behind this door here. Again, the lighting's not too great. There's a lot of junk in here right now. Got my toolbox. There's a Powermatic. 6x48 with a 12 inch disc on the other side. This is a 65 Chevy. That's got a uh, GM crate motor in it, ready to go. I'm just rebuilding the transmission. Pallet shelving on this side. We've got another Eastwood TIG welder, plasma cutter. Kind of in between MIG welders right now. This is my fab table. I have an English wheel to go on that. And then just some other file cabinet and storage. There is a, a beam running across this bay. It's kind of hard to see being so dark. And I do have a chain hoist over in the corner that I plan on putting up there. So, building's completely brick. It holds the heat and it also holds the cold. So uh, I've just been heating with a propane heater that sits right on top of the tank. As you can see, this uh, tank's almost dead. It gets about seven, eight hours, depending on the setting, uh, out of a tank. 
and as long as I've got the sliding door and the overhead door closed, it stays fairly comfortable in here. I wouldn't say it gets up to 60, but it's probably, you know, 45, 50 degrees in here. It's 20, that's nah, probably 32 degrees out today. So it does okay, but with the high ceilings, <clears throat> it doesn't really be nice to have a, a fan up there or something blowing the heat down. I may actually replace this oil burner. <clears throat> There's a good chimney. Maybe just put a wood burner in. Burn old pallet wood and maybe some drain oil. But uh, that's the shop so far. I'm really just uh, chipping at it as I get a chance. The, um, the windows leak quite a bit of air and uh, it would be nice to seal them up, but I like to have the natural light and a uh, heck of a lot more room than my two-car garage.